We, we appreciate it that up on the downs when you've got this natural uh, chalk where you don't have a, a, a normal water source, that if you can bring a water source in on the downs, that the wildlife will come too. I give you the analogy that uh, if, you're, if you're in a desert and you have a, an oasis, the wildlife come into it. And we've proved that too. We were doing this up on, up on the downs anyway, but we appreciated that by bringing water in and then connecting it through wildlife corridors, putting in corridors of tusky grass, and we even planted juniper and gorse up here, believe it or not. But the wildlife can then pass along the, uh, uh, this corridor. And we've done this all the way along the, uh, the Marlborough Downs, and it's been a fantastic success. We planted, or rather we put in over 15 dew ponds. Originally, the dew ponds in the old days would have been put in with, you dig them out, then line them with blue clay, and then put the topsoil back and they fill naturally. More recently, we've been using a pond liner, and Trevor Tibbetts has been doing that for us. This is one that we've done about three weeks ago, it was finished, and as you can see, we've had quite a lot of rain, and there's water in it already. They take approximately one and a half seasons to fill out through natural rainfall. Um, we use a butyl liner, and we cover them with soil afterwards. It looks a bit tatty at the moment, but um, you know, in six months time, you can come up here in the summer and there'll be dragonflies flying around. These, those big dragonflies flying around the ponds and it's amazing where the wildlife comes from in just six months, it really is. What's been interesting in the original ponds of two of the ones that we had up here, we had nine ponds originally, two of them have filled naturally with fish. And you've got to say, well, how does that happen? This is wonderful when you get the school kids up here and say, well, look, you know, you get the fish eggs coming along on the, the bills of the, of the birds or on, the, on their, their feet. And this is nature. And if you can work and you educate people and say, this is how it works, what an opportunity. Bring in the, uh, the water and that has made a huge difference up here, without a doubt. And it's also, it's, it's something that will be here forever. Uh, it's nice to do something. We're all, you're only a custodian of the land for a short period of time. And if you can pass it on in a better state than you received it, if you can put a water source in alongside mainstream agriculture, what have we done? We've taken out half an acre around here, not a great deal, but in terms of what it's doing for wildlife, that has been truly fantastic.